Welcome to Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma. In a nationally representative sample of U.S. children, higher levels of bisphenol A in the urine have been linked with greater risk for obesity. This research is published in the September 19th issue of the Journal of the American Medical Association. BPA is present in a wide variety of consumer products, particularly those made of plastic. You can minimize your exposure to BPA by avoiding microwaving food in plastic containers, particularly those containing the recycle codes 3 or 7. Use plastic containers that are labeled BPA-free, or switch to glass or metal containers especially for hot foods. Minimize your consumption of canned foods, as food cans often are lined with BPA-containing material. Researchers from the NYU School of Medicine in New York City looked at the relationship between concentrations of BPA in the urine and obesity among a nationally representative sample of nearly 3,000 children in the U.S., ages 6 through 19. The children were divided into four groups based on the concentration of BPA found in their urine, and the investigators assessed the obesity risk for each group. After taking into account several factors that influence obesity risk, including poverty, education level, TV watching, race, sex, and caloric intake, the children in the group with the lowest levels of BPA had a significantly lower risk of being obese than those in the other three groups. No link was found between obesity and other chemicals similar to BPA that are frequently found in consumer products, including sunscreens and soaps. Additional analysis revealed that the association between BPA and obesity could be seen among white children children, but not among blacks or Hispanics. Our study suggests the need for a broader perspective in examining childhood obesity. Um, clearly, unhealthy diet and poor physical activity are the leading causes of the epidemic, but our study suggests a role for environmental, especially chemical exposures, um, as other factors in the epidemic. The second message um, regards p the, p the potential opportunity for regulatory action. Um, the FDA recently banned BPA uh, from baby bottles and zippy cups. Um, it declined to ban BPA from aluminum cans and other food uses, uh, stating that it would prefer to wait for uh, further data on the potential safety of this chemical. And our study raises further concerns about the need to reassess that decision in the light of newer data. While today's research is not proof that ingesting BPA can contribute to obesity, it is a strong enough evidence to mandate taking a closer look at this potential health hazard. For Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.